I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Ha'abrakakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, which rule great millstone well. And Shalom to the whole full elect of the nation of Israel. May you endure until the end. Shalom. Wa Ababa Ball. All right. So you've had a couple of chemical spills in America. All right. Which the government is openly saying that they, you know, exploded the derailment in Ohio to burn up those chemicals, which are actually used in weapons. Just like this spill here in Arizona, uh, it spilled a chemical that is actually used for weapons. All right. And they're playing it off like it has no big effect to you or the earth. But this is killing fish in the water. So if you drink the water, it's going to kill you. You got to remember that water has a memory. All right. And the air is made of water. Okay, so this is actually going to go into people's bodies and cause them damage. All right, and it's all at the hand of the so-called white man, which Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai created to be a weapon against the Israelite, okay, because we sinned against our power. Our power is Yahweh, our Heavenly Father, which raised Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, from the dead, all right, because Yahweh Shai was sacrificed for the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. And the Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, which have been scattered throughout the world in slavery. All right, and now judgment is at hand. And these things are happening because we're at the end, okay? And the devil, the so-called white man, said that he was going to come down the scripture said it's prophetic that he would come down with great wrath knowing that he had but a short time. And at the same time, you got these, you know, devils that rule the the ruling class of Esau. Esau is the so-called white man. All right. You got like the Illuminati and he's openly telling you that he has to depopulate. All right. So as you can see, he's poisoning the people and he's poisoning his own people. You know, because in East Palestine, all right, the population there is almost pretty much 100% so-called Caucasian, Edomite, according to what their standard is, all right? And he blew that thing up in Ohio, that derailment, right, saying to burn off the chemicals, all right, and that chemical is used for war. So they're warring against each other. It says that in the scriptures that these devils would kill each other for power, all right? Let me get it. Revelation 6. Talking about the rider of the red horse, which is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. And a, a beautiful omen, you know, that was on that train, okay? That locomotive was a black horse, Okay, because a black horse is also in this prophecy talking about the death the so-called white man will bring. All right. <clears throat> it says in Revelation 6, verse 4, and there went out another horse, a horse is symbolic of power, that was red. Red is Edom, the so-called white man. And power was given to him, to Edom, that sat thereon, which he sits on this power, to take peace from the earth. What is happening with these spills? He's taking peace from the earth. It says, and that they should kill one and another. That they should kill one and another. Okay? Which, like I said, Ohio. Right here it says in the population of... East Palestine, Ohio. Uh, it says it's 93.5% white. All right. And there's and they're not white. They're so-called white. All right. Because you can even look at these guys here in the Senator uh, Rob 
Portman and uh, the U.S. Senator Sherrod Brown. They're red. They're not white. Okay? And it really stands out with Rob Portman because he has the white collar. And you can see his skin tone really popping, being red. You know what I'm saying? So that's Edom, the so-called white man. And that's him fulfilling prophecy, killing their own people. All right, so who is the wicked? Who are the wicked that rule the world? It's the so-called white man. And he'll kill himself. You know, that's how fucking deadly this weapon is that the Lord has created. But he also has promised his remnant, his elect, all right, that we wouldn't be touched, that no weapon should harm us, all right, even though this devil is going to sacrifice some of us, all right, Death is gain in this situation, all right? Because this devil is coming down with great wrath as prophesied. And he's going to make that MOTB, the implantable micro CHIP, mandatory for buying and selling. And that, you know, them that don't accept it, pretty much he's going to put to death. It says in Isaiah 54, verse 16, Behold, I have created the smith which is the Edomite, that bloweth the coals in the fire. So to blow coals in a fire is to build a sword, which he was blessed with the sword. Now in 2023, the year that we pray that Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai fulfills all these prophecies, all right, you got the so-called white man in lab coats in fucking labs building weapons of mass destruction, all right? It says, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, which he's a harbinger of death. All right. Oh, yeah, it was in Revelation 6. Let's go back there real quick. Revelation 6, right? And verse 4. In the middle, it says, I'll just read it from the top. Verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him, to the Edomite, the so-called white man. So he has power from on high to be this deadly. That sat there on to take peace from the earth. So his job, what the Lord created him to do, was to take peace from the earth. Pretty much put people to death. And that they should kill one another. That they'll even kill each other. World War One, World War Two, World War Three. you know. It says, and there was given unto him a great sword. So the Lord gave him a great sword, which is that nuclear missile. All right. And it says that death and hell followed with him. It says in verse five, and when he opened the third seal, which is Yahweh Shai releasing this devil, I heard the third beast say, come and see. And I beheld and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. All right. And it was making me think of the scripture because all these Edomites are crying, saying that they were treated unfairly by their own government because there was no, you know, emergency uh, action to protect them. Right. Because they expect a higher standard being so-called white. When you got in uh, Michigan... Flint, Michigan, you got, you know, people got poisonous water for years. But these so-called white people, all right, on their high horse, you know, they're upset that they didn't get better treatment under the situation, not knowing that their own government is killing them, all right? And soon they're going to literally do it out in the open where they just shoot you in the freaking face, all right? Because you're going into... A new world order, which it's going to start with Jacob's trouble, but then really it's going to be Esau's trouble. All right, because they got troops coming in here and they're going to fucking just ravish this place. And then, you know, there's so many things that are going to hit America. America is eventually not going to even exist because of the nuclear destruction that's going to take place at the coming of Yahweh Shai. And this all. Pretty much is going to end starting with the MOTB coming out and becoming mandatory. 
All right, and when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see, and I beheld, and lo, a black horse, which, like I said, you know, that, that train had a, you know, a black horse as a logo, but I just, you know, that's like an omen, you know, you see something like that movie, uh, um, what is it, where everybody's, uh, you know, they're trying to escape their final destination, you know, you can see things warning you, and they show that in the movie, of, of the death to come. And that locomotive that they blew up, which they pretty much made a bomb, they're pretty much putting chemical warfare in America on their people, right? And these people are still asking the same government that poisoned them for help. See, that's how destroyed these people are. That's how gross the darkness is in this world. To where they're deceiving and killing their own people. All right? It says, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand, which the so-called white man, his balances are an, an abomination because he's unfair. All right. He mistreats the righteous, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Those are the Israelites. Those are the holy nation of Israel. But what it, instead, what he has he done, this so-called white man, he has perverted the Israelite, right? So now you got these two-thirds out here, and they're destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And they can't even receive knowledge because they're so filled up with Esau's bullshit. All right? <clears throat> it says in verse 6, And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine, which this devil is going to starve his people also. There's going to be a great famine. All right. <clears throat> but, the, <clears throat> but the men of the Lord are going to be protected, which are the oil and the wine. It says, and when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, which these horses are symbolic of power and certain parts of power. It's going to tell you in the end, death and destruction. So the so-called white man has has uh, mastered many ways of death. He could starve you. He could torture you to death. He could put chemicals on you. He could do all kinds of shit to kill you. You know, they got... All right, so... Like flies follow shit, all right? That's how death follows the so-called white man, all right? Death and destruction follows the so-called white man. Wherever he goes, he destroys it, all right? Look what he's done to this world. Look what he's done country to country to country to country, all right? He goes in there with promises of prosperity but all he does is suck out the life out of the country, out of the people, out of the ground, and just leave it in a desolated state. All right? A war-ridden, desolate state. So this devil, the so-called white man, all right, he's a weapon that was created to punish the Israelite, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian, which we are in slavery under this devil, subject to payment, all right, that's why his face is on the money, and the money that they tell the world that is the most powerful is the so-called white man's money, starting with that American money, because America is the whore that rides the beast, the beast being EU and NATO, all right, so they control the world in a so-called white supremacy with the America and EU, which they push religion and democracy, education, all right, they control the world, all right, it says, and power was given unto him, uh, un, unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beast of the earth, see, and remember, didn't they just release a bunch of mosquitoes? GMO mosquitoes, all right? Now they're going to feed you bugs, which is an unclean animal, 
And they're going to actually, you know, they're going to poison us. That's why the Lord has to fight for us. Because this devil is coming down with great wrath, knowing that he has but a short time. And that's why I got to grab this scripture here that I've been holding. Ecclesiasticus chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So rust eats iron. Okay, and iron's a very strong metal. So an Edomite, you know, he'll deceive you into doing something evil, like put a microchip inside your body for buying and selling, telling you that it's going to make your life better, but in fact cause you and condemn you death. Okay? All right, going back to Isaiah 54, verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith, the so-called white man, which now he's a scientist making missiles that bloweth the coals in the fire. In the past, they made swords as blacksmith. Now they make nuclear weapons in laboratories. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, which he's a harbinger of death, a destroyer of nations. And that's why... Uh, um, they always say that there's um, weapons of mass destruction in these other countries, but when they go in there, there's nothing. Because the true weapon of mass destruction, all right, is the so-called white man, all right? And they were given nuclear weapons by Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai to fulfill the end when America is destroyed. America is going to be destroyed. It's going to eat 200 million nuclear missiles. They're going to be shot on them, shot on by all the other nations of the world, which they made a uh, a charter with. You know, they pretty much made uh, um, an agreement with. You can look it up. They got it under the UN. All right. Pretty much they're, they're supposed to be all confederate. The whole world, even the heathen, confederate to this so-called white man. All right. But they're secretly making missiles. To destroy America. Even though America is part of them together. They're going to turn their backs on America. By the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. And they're going to destroy America. Okay. It says. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waste to destroy. So the Lord created the nuclear missile. Using that so called white man. And he's going to use it to destroy Babylon. It says in verse 17, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. So for the men that are in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, as it says in uh, Romans 8, 1, all right, there is no condemnation for them that are in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, which the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Romans 8, 1, there is therefore no condemnation, now no condemnation, to them which are in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. All right, and the spirit of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Revelation 11, 19, 11, and the points in 10. Verse 10, and I fell at his feet to worship him. John, when he was getting this vision, he was, uh, he, you know, he, as it says, fell at his feet, the angel that brought this vision, to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and for thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Okay, and what is the prophecy? And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, a so called UFO, with great power. Yahweh Shai is coming with great power. And he that sat upon him, which is Yahweh Shai, which he's not a so called white man, he's a so called black man. Of the tribe of Judah. Judah are the American Negroes. All right. And he that sat on, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. 
and in righteousness he does judge and make war. And that's what he's coming to do. He's coming to make war with the so-called white man, the red devil, because this devil is going to make war with the Lord's saints. Uh, Revelation 13. Re Revelation 13. And I believe it's about 8, 7. And it was given unto him, the so-called white man, the red devil, to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. Just what I said. He's, the whole world's under the so-called white man's power, all right? And they're confederate against the Israelite. And I'm talking about the prophet. The two-third, they're going with the program. You know what I'm saying? They're part of the B system. But the ones that are teaching the truth and them that hear the truth and are, you know, they're, they're moved to to change that the way that they live according to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, right? They repent and return, all right? They don't like that. So them that see us on the streets prophesying oh, on these videos, you know, I, I get all kinds of hateful messages, right? For telling the truth. We become an enemy to this world because we tell the truth because this world is controlled by the wicked, the devil, the liar, right? And he deceiveth the world. So the truth puts the light on his lies, revealing him to be the wicked, the so-called white man. He don't like it. All right. And the only option he has is to get violent. So that's what that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for this devil to pop off. And get violent. Alright. The Lord says that when he becomes violent like that. He's going to raise the standard on him. Alright. Some brothers are going to get spiritual power. Alright. There's going to be more um, amazing events. Like the Leviathan. Remember the Leviathan is still about to come out. And start wrecking havoc on this place. Alright. We still got a lot of uh, an amazing beings to see. Before Yahweh Shai comes. But this is all. This is all going to happen in a short period of time. You know, we don't know what day or what hour, but we got to stay ready. You know, it says in verse 17, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. So the rest of this world is worried. They're going to die in famine. They're going to die in animal attacks. They're going to die in earthquakes. They're going to die in uh, a murder, right? So a lot of these bitches are going to get raped and murdered. All right. Uh, there's going to be so many ways to die, but the Lord is going to protect his anointed. All right. And once again, some will be sacrificed to fulfill the prophecy of Revelation 6, that this devil is going to, you know, well, Revelation 13 and uh, 7, and that they're going to make war with the saints. But also in Revelation 6, all right, this devil, he's going to actually behead some brothers for this truth, you know, it says in verse nine, and when he had opened the fist, so I saw under the altar, the souls of them that were slain for the word of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai and for the testimony which they held. All right. So they're going to kill some brothers for this prophecy. All right. But it's going to be in fulfillment of prophecy and it's going to actually testify to the faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. All right. Um, there was one more scripture that came to me, but I believe it left me. All right. Verse two. I'll just go with this and we'll wrap it up. Verse two of Hebrews 12. Looking unto Yahweh, the author and finisher of our faith. And this is how we're going to get through this, okay? Looking at Yahweh, following Yahweh, which Yahweh has set up the apostleship, starting with the apostle elders, which rule great millstone well, all right? Yahweh set up the apostleship for the leadership of Israel into salvation, all right? And whoever understands that, they're going to fulfill 
Isaiah 14 and 1 and Isaiah 4 and 1. It says, Who for the joy that was set upon set before him endured the cross? All right, Yahweh Shai, which he endured the crucifixion and death. All right, for what? It says, For the joy that was set before him, which he was going to receive a great reward. Despising the shame, which, you know, there's shame in this. You know, we're shamed by the world, right? Because we're the poor, we're the needy, we're the persecuted, right? Because we want righteousness, so the world persecutes us, all right? It's okay that we could despise the shame, but we could, like it says, be angry but sin not. Don't grow bitter, all right? Because you got to have that joy. For You have to have that joy that was set before us, all right? By Yahweh Shai, he showed us how to do this. We cannot grow bitter and curse Yahweh nor Yahweh Shai because of the hardship of our walk, our fight in this faith. We have to have joy in, in understanding that the testing, the, the testing of our faith is is precious, all right? Because it makes us, you know, prove that faith, but also grow in faith. It says, and is set down at the right hand of Yahweh, of the throne of Yahweh Bajam Yahushai. See? So he received a great reward. And, and one of the great rewards he's going to receive is to save Israel literally from destruction. He's going to gather his elect and them that are joined to him. And he's going to save them and literally start a whole nation over again. The whole world is going to start over under the Israelites that are saved by Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. And the world will be peaceful because it will be done in righteousness. Which if there is wickedness, it will be cut out and put to death. And you know, the wicked, the so-called white man, the other nations, they're going to be the slaves. All right. In the world to come, they're going to be the slaves. For a thousand years to pay us back. The Israelites, they're going to pay us back. And then the so-called white man, according to Isaiah 14 and 21, the Lord is going to fucking obliterate him, put him away, make him extinct, all right? Burn him up, and he's going to have the Israelites throw him into the fire and dissolve their ass. Because there will be a day where there is no more wickedness on this earth. And that has to be done by the so-called white men being destroyed because they are the wicked. All right. But you can't destroy him now because he's been blessed with that sword. He is a sword. He's a tool in the Lord's hand. All right. But we don't have to fear him because no weapon that is formed against us. Right. We were wicked at one time. The Israelites. Right. The ones that are repentant. We came out of darkness, came out of the gross darkness of this world to learn the truth. Now that we have seen the light, right, we, we try to avoid that willful sin that the so-called white man pushes upon our people. All right. And that's why the Holy Spirit is supping with us. All right. And guiding us as a light in this dark world. And we're warning our people not to trust your enemy, the so-called white man. He's a fucking weirdo, all right? And what he wants to do is put an implantable micro CHIP inside your body and say it's mandatory for buying and selling, and that will condemn you to the nuclear destruction that was created for the devil and his angels. But with that, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Ha'avukakudash, double honors to our apostles and elders, which rule great millstone well. And shalom to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. May you endure until the end. Wa ababa bomb.